In today's tech-driven world, something big just happened. Elon Musk's brain implant company, Neuralink, got the go-ahead to test its fancy brain stuff on people. But wait, why is everyone so worried? Is this the start of a cool future or a big mess? Let's break it down and see what's going on with Neuralink and why it matters to all of us. In a surprising turn of events, Neuralink, Elon Musk's brain implant company, has achieved something big. They got the green light for the very first human trial of their experimental brain device. This news, however, has triggered quite a buzz and some serious questions. People are wondering why we should care about this. Well, first of all, it's a big deal because it's the first time we're going to see if brain stuff can work on humans. That's exciting, right? But hold on a second. Not everyone is throwing a party over this. Neuroethicist Laura Cabrera from Penn State's Rock Ethics Institute didn't expect this at all. She was surprised that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, said, sure, go ahead and try this on people. She's worried because of how Elon Musk runs things. See, Musk has this reputation for being a bit unpredictable, especially with his other companies like Twitter. He likes to move super fast, and that's got some folks thinking. Is he going to treat this brain thing like a new gadget, or will he take it seriously? Now, let's talk about what Neuralink is aiming for. They've come up with this thing called The Link, a brain-computer interface, or BCI for short. The Link is special because it's like a computer chip that they can put in your brain. Yeah, you heard that right. In your brain. Elon Musk has big dreams for this Link. He's not just thinking about helping people with brain problems like paralysis or depression. He's thinking about fixing blindness too. Imagine that, being able to see again because of a tiny chip in your noggin. But that's not all. Musk's long-term plan is even more mind-blowing. He wants to connect your brain directly to supercomputers. It's like plugging your brain into the internet. Why? Well, he's worried that artificial intelligence is getting too smart and humans need to catch up. So this link could help us stay on the same level as super smart machines. And get this, he's even talking about storing your thoughts, like a backup for your digital soul. Before Neuralink could even think about testing their brain-computer interface on humans, they had to take some crucial steps. One of those steps involved testing their technology on animals. This phase of research and development is pretty standard in the world of medical innovations. What's interesting is that Neuralink shared some of their animal testing process with the public. They released videos showing monkeys using the device to do some pretty cool things. One video from 2021 showed a monkey playing the video game Pong using only his mind. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But it's real. Another video from 2022 seemed to show a monkey typing on a computer using his thoughts. This telepathic communication stuff is what Neuralink is all about. They want to create a link between the brain and external electronics, making it possible for people to interact with computers and devices just by thinking. It's a groundbreaking idea, but it also raises some important questions. While these videos wowed many, they also left us wondering about the specifics of Neuralink's upcoming human trial. We all know they've been testing on animals, but what exactly will they be testing on humans? What will the trial involve? These are crucial details that we're still waiting to hear about. Getting approval from the US Food and Drug Administration to test a new medical device on humans isn't a walk in the park. In fact, Neuralink faced some pretty significant challenges getting FDA approval, including a rejection in 2022. So why did the FDA initially say no to Neuralink's request for clinical trials? Well, it turns out there were dozens of deficiencies that needed addressing before they could proceed. These deficiencies included concerns about the device's lithium-ion battery overheating, worries that the small wires in the brain could move around, and the fact that the device can't be removed without damaging brain tissue. These are not minor issues when you're talking about sticking something in a person's brain. But it's not all bad news. The FDA takes its job very seriously when it comes to evaluating the safety and effectiveness of medical devices. They have a scientifically rigorous process to make sure any new technology is safe for humans. They also emphasize their commitment to ensuring the humane treatment of animals involved in testing. So, the FDA isn't just rubber stamping things. 
they're looking out for our well-being. Neuralink didn't comment on how they resolved these concerns, leaving us with questions about the safety of their devices. It's a big deal because, well, we're talking about our brains here. We don't want anything to go wrong inside our heads. The story takes a darker turn as we explore allegations of animal cruelty. Neuralink has been conducting experiments on animals since 2018, and it hasn't been smooth sailing. In fact, reports suggest that more than 1,500 animals met their demise during these experiments. Now, it's not unusual for animals to be used in scientific research, but the high mortality rate at Neuralink is raising eyebrows. Employees have come forward, alleging that the death toll among test subjects has been higher than necessary. Why? Well, it appears to be linked to Elon Musk's push for a grueling development timeline. Former employees have described some of these experiments as hack jobs, indicating that they were rushed and poorly executed. In one instance, the wrong size devices were implanted in 25 out of 60 pigs used for testing. In another tragic mishap, Neuralink's device was mistakenly implanted into the wrong vertebrae of two different pigs during separate surgeries, leading to their euthanasia due to pain and suffering. The alarming allegations have not gone unnoticed. Multiple government agencies and members of Congress have launched investigations into Neuralink's testing practices. The Department of Agriculture is looking into allegations of animal abuse, while the Department of Transportation is investigating the mishandling of biohazardous materials across state lines. Just recently, Democratic Representatives Earl Blumenhauer and Adam Schiff called upon the U.S. Department of Agriculture to investigate potential conflicts of interest within the board responsible for overseeing animal testing at Neuralink. The investigations are ongoing, and their findings could have significant implications for the future of Neuralink's research. Beyond the animal testing controversy, Neuralink's endeavors also raise ethical and privacy concerns, especially when it comes to the handling of sensitive brain data. This technology is not just about playing video games with our minds. It's about accessing and potentially storing our thoughts and brain activity. Think about it. If Neuralink succeeds in connecting our brains to computers, who will have access to that data, and how will it be used? These questions are at the heart of ethical concerns. The need to protect user privacy in the realm of brain device technology is paramount. We're talking about our thoughts, our innermost workings, and the potential for unprecedented intrusion into our minds. What's concerning is that Neuralink has been rather quiet on this front. They haven't provided clear answers or reassurances about how they plan to handle the data generated by their devices. As we move closer to human trials, these privacy concerns become increasingly relevant and pressing. So, while Neuralink's recent FDA approval is a significant step, there's still a considerable journey ahead. It's important to remember that groundbreaking technology, especially when it involves our brains, necessitates careful and thorough testing. We must proceed with caution, respecting the complexity of the endeavor and the dignity of those who may benefit from it in the future.